now our uh, next topic is fire fighting under emergency escape okay so previously we have seen fire prevention and then we have also seen you know a fire warning system now after warning how we need to deal how we need to deal the situation so there are two situation arises for example fire started already and our warning system fire warning system detected that and uh, rang the bell okay or it activated the fire you know uh, emergency system or uh, activation of uh, fire um activate uh, activation system okay now you need to respond in two ways first one is uh, you need to either you can fight the fire to douse it otherwise at least you can follow the emergency escape okay so here so far we talked about you know only firefighting brigade so firefighting brigade are very specialized persons and they can always put the fire off you know and they know how to put the fire off and they have a special you know rules and the procedures and the, of course the equipment the gear special gear also gear means the um, specialized clothes okay everything they have so for them it is uh, not a problem but many times you people might have seen we generally see the you know fire extinguishers so many places we see fire extinguishers in so many places and uh, when we see that we may uh, attempt attempt to use those fire extinguishers okay but what are the basic things we you need to remember when you try to use the fire extinguishers okay you can see fire extinguishers you know everywhere in you know, almost all buildings these days okay whenever you go to any public building you can see you we don't know whether it is uh, working or not but uh, that particular fire extinguisher is there even in the trains also they are providing now okay but uh, when you you know go to this fire extinguisher i am talking about the person who is not specialized in fire fighting okay so when the fire is small and contained then only you try to douse it okay okay you try to douse otherwise what happens it will become very big and if you if you should be safe from the toxic gases okay and you have a means of escape escape or don't put yourself in the you know uh, dangerous situation this is not a krish 2 I think that is a Krish 2 or Krish 1. We are not a Hrithik Roshan. We are not a Hrithik Roshan. So don't uh, try to show your heroism because it's very, very dangerous. And uh, your instincts say that it's okay to use that. Okay. You remember this. Okay. That's why I have written because our safety is also very, very important when you try to do something. So here. So and one more thing okay you know the general precautions first you should safeguard yourself okay so you safeguarded yourself and uh, you have seen the fire extinguishers there but you don't know the types of uh, fires under uh, the various types of fire extinguishers that are suitable for uh, different types of fires so actually what happened even though our intention is good to douse the fire what happens instead of putting off the fire it will spread if you don't know which fire extinguisher you should use for which particular type of you know fire so for that we need to have some basic knowledge so that's why i just introduced to you different types of fires and then we will see different types of fire extinguishers you know which we should use only in those cases okay so generally these are classified into five types of fires first we will see fire types okay first we will see fire types fire types so these are five classes class a b c d and then it is a k okay it is a k and the type of fire so when will we call the particular type of fire is a class a so it is a simple you know ordinary combustibles okay it is a ordinary combustibles what is that ordinary combustibles 
that is a wood paper cloth rubber even plastic these are all ordinary combustible material combustible material and uh, whenever these materials you know burn and uh, give the fire then that is classified as the class a class a fire okay so um and uh, class b fire class b fire is a uh, all flammable liquids and uh, flammable gases so what are the example for gases propane and butane and butane see in the flammable liquids you can take petrol diesel okay and so many examples are there but here you need to remember one point okay in the flammable b okay even though i mentioned here liquids cooking oils and grease grease won't come under this section okay for that we have a separate section so that is a class k here okay this is a class k class k here we will see we will include cooking cooking oils and greases greases of animal or vegetable oils yeah, animal or vegetable oils okay so what is the meaning of that if you get a fire by burning the cooking oil or the grease then it is classified as the type k okay now not under the type b and uh, what is the type c electrical equipment energized electrical equipment okay energized electrical equipment equipment so what are the example for example motor there are so many examples you know whatever electrical appliance you take everything comes under this computer computer transformer so many you know things are there and uh, what's about class d this is a combustible combustible metals what are the metals anything like a magnesium is a very dangerous metal it easily catches the fire okay and titanium and so on okay so this this is the classification see if the fire is started by combustion of the wood or paper yeah or if it is due to the petrol or diesel or uh, something like a LPG, then it is called as B. Or uh, if the fire is started by the short circuit of a electrical electrical device, uh, like a computer or uh, any AC, something like that, then it is called as the class C. C. And uh, if it is due to the combust combustible metals like magnesium, titanium or whatever metal you take, then the, that is a D and K is from the cooking oil and the greases. So how to remember this see uh, we have a technique like a uh, see whenever you burn this wood or paper or cloth or rubber you produce ash ash so what is the first letter a okay and then um, flammable liquids under uh, flammable gases generally we will keep these flammable liquids and the gases in the barrel okay we keep in the barrels so capped first letter is b and here if you observe if you burn the oil or a propane or butane you won't get any ash okay so here only we will get the ash but uh, here you know ash and here energized electrical equipment see here what is happening it is uh, because of the current so c u r r e n t so what is the first letter current c and uh, in the combustible metals okay this is the d 
okay so d metals means for example it is like a uh, how you prepare a dynamite dynamite is a bomb no so by using uh, these type of uh, mi mixing of uh, different metals like magnesium and all so i can call it as a dynamite okay what is the first letter d and the uh, cooking oil and uh, cooking oil and grease you know these generally we use in the kitchen kitchen okay what is the first letter k okay you remember like that otherwise even it's very difficult to remember this no need to remember but anyway it's always you know read because ups is unpredictable sometimes they may give these questions also okay so we know these um, different types of uh, different types of uh, uh, fires and please note down this you can note down this okay you pause the video and you note down i'm i'm erasing this and here we need to find the suitable fire extinguisher okay for example here in this case class c instead of using a suitable fire extinguisher if i pour some water what happens you also get shock okay because this is the electricity okay in the same way here in the metals also if you use some other you know, unwanted material to put off the fire instead of putting off or you know uh, stopping the fire it will enhance the fire okay it, is, it, it, it may spread the fire so that is why we need to see different types of fire extinguishers okay so that uh, we can use those fire extinguishers in the different uh, uh, situations